and this is 1918 Lincoln sent in MS-68 red condition. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. According to Stax Bowers, the striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and the eye appeal is extraordinary. While there is no denying that the 1918 is one of the more plentiful early date Lincoln sets, the mintage is 288,104,634 circulation strikes, high quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this full red ultra gem is of the utmost condition rarity. It was sold for $55,200. If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. 1999 P. Connecticut State Quarter struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. A fully struck medium gold example with intense satin luster to both sides. The Connecticut counterpart to the Pennsylvania State Quarter that is also struck on the same kind of experimental manganese alloy planchet. This one ended up selling for $2,880. Here is 1941 D. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. The 1941 D. Washington Quarter, with a mintage approaching 17 million coins, is fairly common through the gem and premium gem levels, but at the superb gem rank, the population thins dramatically. This MS-68 example radiates vibrant luster from both obverse and reverse. Deep purple, forest green, orange gold, and yellow gold toning covers the right, upper, and lower obverse borders, leaving the remaining areas mostly brilliant. The same color palette occurs on the reverse, but is much more confined to the right and lower margins. This elusive gem ended up selling for $20,700. 1959 D. Franklin half dollar. This era coin is double struck, second strike 55% off center. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. This coin was first struck properly but then failed to fully eject from the press and received a second strike 55% off center to just before 6 o'clock. The result is that the lower obverse exhibits a second portrait, albeit only the top, while on the upper reverse the bottom of a second Liberty Bell is also plainly evident. Also discernible from the second strike are portions of the word Liberty, obverse, and the denomination half dollar, reverse. Virtually all design elements from the first impression are at least partially discernible, the date sharp and the D mint mark bold. It ended up selling for $15,600. 1982 Small Date Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS69 read by PCGS. An incredible condition rarity from this transitional modern issue. The surfaces are essentially flawless, painted in an even salmon pink hue. Satiny luster cartwheels without interruption across each side, emphasizing the sharply rendered devices. It represents an incredible rarity and is destined for the most advanced collection of Lincoln Cents. This superb gem fetched a sum of $15,600. Here is 1937 Buffalo Nickel Proof. Graded as PR66 by NGC. According to NGC, all 1937 proof nickels are fully brilliant, but an extremely small number display enough contrasting texture on their devices to be designated cameo. This issue is plentiful, but the demand from type collectors is quite high and keeps values high, as well. No proofs of this coin type were made for 1938, as it was already known at the beginning of the year that a new Jefferson nickel was on its way. This proof specimen ended up selling for $1,200. 1957 D. Lincoln sent over struck on a Roosevelt dime. Graded as MS-61 by Annex. Struck over a previously struck Roosevelt dime with the prior devices and lettering clear in areas. Toned with copper gold on both sides with lustrous fields and minimal signs of handling. It ended up selling for $2,585. This is colorful 1949 D. Washington quarter in Mint State 68. The great MS-68 signifies that the coin is in an extremely high state of preservation. Coin in such pristine condition is rare because it has avoided significant wear, damage, or other imperfections over the years. In terms of raw eye appeal, it also stands at the peak among the survivors out of an issue of just over 10 million pieces. Near silver luster occupies much of the upper obverse and lower reverse, while gold, peach, and plum hues drape the rest of the coin and a few splashes in the aforementioned areas. The detail is above average for the issue. It was sold for $17,037.50. 1995 D. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 67 with full steps by PCGS. As we mentioned multiple times in our videos, the full steps is a numismatic designation referring to fully struck central device elements on the back side of the nickel, the steps on Monticello porch in particular. To get that designation from coin grading service, coin must display fully delineated five or six steps. 
This FS specimen is sharply struck and lustrous and surfaces are void of mentionable contact marks of blemishes. It ended up selling for $1,040.62 with buyer's fee. 1963 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. Type A Reverse. A beautifully toned superb gem. Jade green, golden brown, powder blue, and plum red endow this lustrous and well-preserved silver type coin. The present example is the finest certified by PCGS. It was sold for $11,162.50.